What's going on guys? Marky Williams from the YouTube channel Online Certification Course. Here, check out this tutorial I put together in regards to 10 ways to demonstrate leadership at work. Before we get into that, you know it. Go ahead and check out this intro. Being a leader doesn't necessarily mean managing the team of people. Leadership is about people learning from you, seek your advice, and are inspired by you. Here I'll give you 10 ways to demonstrate leadership at work. What's going on? This is Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. This is a channel where you can learn a new skill set or brush up on an old one. Continuous education and improvement should always be priority if you want to stay current in your field of work and plus get paid your worth. Enjoy the tutorial and all the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you would like to get certified in and I can send you a link personally to check out. So let's get started with number one. Get a reputation for knowing your stuff and being on the leading edge of your industry. Whether it's welding, plumbing, auto mechanic, installer, that might sound like a tall task along with a lot of reading of materials, but don't worry, you can always do this in stages. After you get enough content under your belt, you'll start to have your own ideas about trends in your industry. Share them out, start a blog, Facebook page, publish a case study, or contribute to an industry publication. If it's at your job, gradually lend your point of views out during meetings and fireside chats. Not only at your company's function, but this could include being a guest on a, on a webinar, a panelist at a local industry meeting, or a keynote speaker at a national conference. Not sure where to start? You should be able to find several organizations by doing an internet search for your industry, plus the terms professional association. Start out by attending events and find ways to get more involved. Build your leadership skills by volunteering to head up a committee or organize an event. When a project doesn't go as planned, leaders don't dwell on what went wrong. They also don't get caught up in office politics or spend their lunch hour gossiping with the negative Nellies. They proactively seek a solution, share it out to the team, and keep moving on. Also, be sure to set a good example for your colleagues by being optimistic. People like to be around positive people. They want to be excited about their jobs, help create a positive, proactive atmosphere at the office. Here are some ways to do this, starting with this. When something goes wrong, talk about how to resolve the problem, brainstorm how to do it better next time, come up with solutions together. When a new initiative comes up that requires hard work and change, talk up the benefits with your team, move in a direction with positivity, and they will follow. When a coworker goes above and beyond or helps execute a project, give credit where credit is due. Empower your peers with positive encouragement. Good leaders don't tell, they listen. Listening to and observing others is a great way to get ideas and gain perspective. Listen to your coworkers, your boss, your peers, your customers, and the overall marketplace. By understanding the perspective of others, you get a better understanding of the big picture and the challenges at hand. Listening opens yourself up to new ideas. As I have mentioned a little in the beginning, networking can help find your opportunities for advancements to hone your leadership skills. Get involved in professional associations, attend conferences, and find other ways to meet people in your industry. Simply put, a mentor is more experienced person who shares professional knowledge and career experience with you as being the mentee. The goal of a mentoring relationship is to gain insight and advice from your mentor, develop your own leadership skills, and advance your career goals. A mentor could be someone in your company or in another company. They could be even in another industry, depending on what you're seeking to learn. Fostering diversity in a workplace take attentive leadership. Good leaders understand that diversity goes beyond age, gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientations to include diversity of personalities, ideas, and approaches. Encouraging differing viewpoints among your peers and team meetings can create that breakthrough and that true aha moment. This may seem like a no-brainer, but none of these ideas will make you a leader if no one's nailing your own job. Nobody will respect you if you're spending all your time networking, demonstrating thought leadership while turning in projects late or doing a messy job of it. 
You must do your work on time along with getting involved in your industry and building your leadership credibility. Demonstrating leadership in the workplace can help you with your career as well as the whole organizational productivity. One of the most important leadership traits is speaking your mind. If you have some smart and innovative ideas, put them out there. Every company loves professionals who have out-of-the-box ideas. Speaking out and sharing your ideas help you set the tone for yourself at work. If you want to demonstrate leadership in the workplace, ask questions whenever you get an opportunity to. Asking questions show your dedication, your enthusiasm for your work. Don't hold back any questions about work. Sometimes questions can lead to some magnificent ideas which contribute to organizational success. Many thanks for taking some time out to check my tutorial. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any training certification courses you may want to pick up. Comment below, done, and I will reply back. You can check me out on Facebook under Marky Williams, and there I also have an online certification page you can like and follow as well. Please make sure you check out these certification courses that are floating around right here. Hope to catch you on the next tutorial. Many thanks. It's Marky Williams, and I'm out.